Ready for a little piano lesson? No, I want to talk to you. Why are you forcing my mom to have a baby? Whoa. I don't know who told you that, but I am not forcing your mom to have a baby. Is she forcing you? Well, no. It had to be somebody's idea. Nobody just does that kind of thing for fun. <laughs> I can say is that we love each other okay and we're just thinking about having a baby you're a liar she's not gonna turn down having a baby with you you're the hottest guy she's ever dated hey the liar comment was hurtful but i can't argue with you that well i am the hottest guy she's ever dated it's weird when you say it okay but uh, I am pretty sure that your mom does not want me talking to you about this, but I'm just going to go on and jump into the old dad waters for the first time here. <laughs> uh, you're worried that if we have a new baby, that you won't have a place in this family, but you will It'll be a big brother, hotshot. Dad waters is not a thing, you idiot. <laughs> Don't tell your mom we talked. Or that I said dad waters. What are you doing here? You're supposed to be helping Ed Jr. over at your dad's house. We pretty much finished the drywall. He can handle it from here. He's a smart kid. He went to college. Oh, so that's what this is about. I saw your face when Ed Jr. said grandpa paid for his college. You're so good at reading my face, what's it saying now? It says you think you got a raw deal, and your eyebrow is telling me you want pie. Yeah, it's easy. I always want pie. Nope. You can't eat your feelings until you tell me what they are. I don't have any feelings. You know that. Uh-oh. Looks like I have a heavy whipped cream finger. Okay, okay. It would have been nice to go to college. He never talks about wanting to go to college. There's a lot of things I don't talk about. I'm only talking about it now because of the pie. <laughs> I wanted to design cars. Really? All through high school, I filled up notebooks with my design. My art teacher thought I really had something. But the old man wouldn't give me a dime. He said I wasn't college material, like he'd know. So what? So you're going to punish Ed Jr. every time you hear about something nice your dad did for him? Because that's not his fault. I know. I should let it go, but I can't. And if I don't, I'm going to wreck my relationship with the kid. The only way to let it all go is to get some kind of closure with your dad. Yeah. Man, it'd be so much easier if he was still alive. <laughs> I could sit down with him, hear his side of it, and punch him right in the face. treat me to this. I don't know when's the last time I had a pedicure. They took off so much dead skin, I think it went down a shoe size. <laughs> Listen, you guys have paid for everything this week, and I'm starting to feel like maybe I owe you, hmm, oh. I don't know, money? Nonsense. It's nice to have someone to spoil. Our kids are grown, and, well, we don't like them. Huh? I really just can't imagine not having you around. Would you look at that? Jackie, this is awkward because we've never done this before, so we're just going to say it. We want to invite you into our relationship, which right now feels like the most natural thing in the world. And... <laughs> There's the other one. So we were looking for the right person, and then, out of the blue, you found us. Oh, well, I've never found an us before, but... <laughs> Here Russ is. <laughs> it's, it's kind of a surprise. Really? The red roses? The love shack? The locket? Oh, this is a locket? Oh, yeah. oh and it opens up. I... And there's the three of us. <laughs> so what do you say, Jackie? Do you have room in your life for us? Well, it's, it's a big decision. Do I have a little time to think about it? Of course. It's important to us that you want this as much as we do. 
Well, I will say, if I brought you both home to meet my mother, it would kill her. So, <laughs> that's a big check in the plus column. <laughs> Buddy, what you doing? Stress ironing. <laughs> I talked to Ben, and he told me that you're worried about a new baby coming into our lives and what that means for you. And I just want to tell you that everything is going to be fine. You're going to die. What? Women in their 40s have the highest risk of dying in childbirth. Strokes, kidney failure, hemorrhaging, infections, preeclampsia. Don't know what that is, but it happens right before eclampsia. <laughs> All right, slow down. Where did you get this? There's a lot of crazy stuff on the internet. The Mayo Clinic, the American Medical Association, and the National Institutes of Health. <laughs> oh, maybe I better have a look at that. <laughs> What happens if you die, and I hate the baby because it killed you, and then I have to take care of a baby that I hate? You think I'm gonna send a kid like that to college? Mark, take a breath, okay? <sighs> I'm not gonna die, all right? I'm a Connor. We don't just drop dead. We break down early, and we linger so that we're a burden to the next generation. <laughs> Nana Bev is a burden to Aunt Jackie. Your grandpa will be a burden to me. And I will be a burden to you for a long, long time. You can't guarantee that you're going to be OK. Mark, look, the numbers say the odds of me dying in childbirth are one hundredth of one percent. Guess that's not a lot. Yeah. You're totally worried about the wrong thing, OK? You don't need to worry about me dying. It's much more likely that I'll love the new baby more than you. Seriously, look at me. That's not possible. <laughs> uh, how do you know? We haven't seen the baby yet, and Ben is the hottest guy I've ever dated. OK, this was Dad's spot. You going to tell me why we drove all the way out here in Dad's car? I just wanted to see where he used to come to sit and think. I get it. It's so deserted, you could scream out here and nobody hear you. Okay. Look, I know you're really mad about the whole college thing. Yeah, I gotta tell you, it got to me. Every time I hear about all the good stuff he did for you, all this rage and resentment comes boiling up again. I gotta put an end to it. All right, look, it is not my fault what he did for me. All right, but if you want to go, Take your best shot, but I'm a biter. <laughs> I didn't come here to fight you. I appreciate you giving me the car, man. Well, why don't we go back into the car where it's warm and talk about it? No can do. I already lit the fuse. <laughs> <laughs> what? I loaded up the trunk with fireworks, illegal stuff from Michigan. I got something called a Patriot's candle. It's basically just a stick of dynamite. So we drove all the way out here with the trunk full of explosives? <laughs> Holy crap, that's really cool. Yeah, it was. I feel better. <laughs> just had to exercise some demons. I had to get closure with Dad to keep him from screwing up our relationship. And he loved that car. <laughs> hey. Oh, it's just me. Ron and Janelle paid for it. But, uh, Becky, you were right. They want a throuple. <laughs> I'm guessing that's a couple plus one person who's wearing someone else's hair. No, it's when three people have an equal relationship, just like a couple. Are you actually considering this? Maybe. I mean, they're fun. They treat me with respect. When's the last time I had that? And I think that Ron and Janelle might be the person I've been looking for all this time. Are you sure you're ready for this? What happens when Ron wants to have sex with you or Janelle?